Thank you very much, uh, Madam Clerk. I'd like to, to start here, and I know we'll have uh, the Vice Mayor uh, make the final comments and, and make the motion. I, I just want to begin by uh, thanking uh, the Sacramento Kings uh, for uh, hanging in there and for, you know, the expertise, really, of uh, Jeff Dorso, Matina Cole Patronas, uh, and the team to really work through over a decade, a very complicated set of issues that bring us here today. I want to thank Dr. Chung and the board uh, because I know you were considering other options at one time and you have chosen Sacramento and we are grateful to you and we are also uh, very, very happy uh, and believe you have made and you and your board have made a good and wise decision. I want to thank our city staff uh, for really uh, doing such a, a, a terrific uh, analysis and job on you know such a uh, such such an important project for uh, our city, and I want to especially thank Teresa, who I know is about to retire, for um, making this uh, quite a quite a finale. And then I want to thank uh, Vice Mayor Ashby and the Natomas community who really, um, you know, are the heart and soul of what we're doing here tonight. Um, not only, Vice Mayor, your work on uh, helping negotiate some of the very important details, including with our friends from Organized Labor, I want to thank Kevin Ferreira and the Building Trades as well but also for insisting over the course of your tenure in a decade that the people of Natomas deserved something good and special, something good and special, that you were not going to settle for just anything because it might technically come under the definition of jobs. It had to be the right jobs. It had to be the right project. And sometimes I suppose, the, you know, the lesson is that sometimes saying no and waiting for the right opportunity for the Kings and for their community and for you turns out to be the wise strategy. And so I want to say thank you and to congratulate you. And I suppose for myself as mayor, if I've done anything um, at all, which isn't much, I've helped back uh, you and the community up in that very idea that there was a promise made, as I said yesterday and you've repeated, and now there are promises kept. And the beautiful Golden One Center is something we're all so proud of. And there was an equally compelling promise made during those heady days of 2013 and 14, and that is that we would replace the arena in Natomas with something like what we are doing tonight. And so fortune sometimes uh, shines on those who are smart and wait for the right opportunity. And that's exactly what is happening here tonight. And finally, you know, I won't, uh, completely quote former Vice President, now President Biden, when he talked to uh, President Obama with a live microphone, when the president was about to sign the Affordable Care Act, he said something like that, something like, this is a big blank, blank, blank deal. This is a big blank, blank deal. And I know we are all sort of experiencing the the haze, the fog of COVID. I mean, oh my God, it's been two years. And there are a lot of people who are dispirited about the state of the city and about some of the real challenges and problems we have that we are working on and, and fighting to make better every single day. But if anybody thinks that the city's best days are behind it, you aren't looking closely enough. Tonight, we are beginning the very important process of approving this incredible hospital project in Natomas. Tomorrow, we're breaking ground on Aggie Square. All 
this on top of Centene. The rail yards are taking off three major housing projects, some other big announcements to come. And that doesn't include all of the new housing and, and new retail, high-end retail that's happening in the downtown midtown, all the energy in our diverse commercial corridors throughout the city and all the opportunities. Are you kidding me? The best days of this city are ahead of us. And it's happening in real time. And I could not be happier or prouder, uh, again, uh, of you, Vice Mayor, of our entire city council, our team, the Natomas community, the Kings, Dr. Chung, and everybody who brings us here today. Um, let's stop, let's walk out of the haze in the pall of COVID and start celebrating some of the great things that are happening here and not let this go as another council meeting and another night. It's a big deal. And I thank you very much.